Hey, what's up, guys? It's T-Bone here, and welcome back to another episode of playing Legendary Game of Heroes. So the Legend Trials is now available, and with that, the Silver Legend bosses as well. If you've had a Path of Champion keys left over from before, it's now been converted over to summoning coins. And if you don't, just like me, uh, you still got 50 free tokens or summoning coins uh, from the dev team. And so what I'm going to do in today's episode is we're going to take a look at uh, the silver bosses. We're going to summon a couple of them, and we're also going to uh, take on the gold uh, legend boss at the end of this episode. And so you can see here, um, the summoning coins for these small bosses are they just require 25 tokens, uh, coins, so we can actually summon two. Uh, now, for me, I personally am looking to collect uh, the souls for either Leah or Sarah, so I'm going to go ahead and summon this boss. And so let's go ahead and take a look at the boss and see what it's like. So we'll go to the battle. This is basically the same uh, same way to navigate between all of the, the, the two different type of bosses here. And you can see here I have, uh, you know, 100 billion left on Ketakozo. Koto, so we're going to, um, you know, finish the, the finish that boss at, uh, a little bit later. But right now we're going to take on uh, Ozo Mot Motley. And you can see here it has 75 million uh, hit points. So it's a lot easier. And remember, this is meant for uh, players uh, rank 35 and above. And if you're, um, you know, rank 35 to 99, this is what you'll see. Once you hit 100, you'll see both gold and silver. All right, so let's see. So what I've got here, uh, built a couple of decks. The first one is a team that uses, um, that uses Keda as the leader. So all... Legend bosses have now been boosted. Uh, you can see the remaining um, skill that was hidden before. So Magma Armor Piercer for Keta. So in the Legend Trials, break Magma Armor by 7 per regular hero attack. And so Keta is specifically going to break the armor of um, of this particular boss. And it'll take down 7 at a time. So with 5 bosses, basically one one hit in one turn will take down all of the armor. And there's also the stat boost, but there's no other additional boost besides that. And so for the team I'm bringing, uh, I'm using Wendy as one of the main uh, damage dealers for the nuke damage. And then I brought in here as well to support her Askuka, uh, two, two copies of Askuka. And then I brought Trick Vipol as well uh, for additional health. And because Keta basically supports, uh, she should boost 200% health and damage for all uh, water heroes. And so it doesn't matter what type of uh, heroes I bring in, it's, as long as it's water. So I just brought, brought in uh, cards that give me more health. And with that, I'm actually going to give myself a little bit of a challenge. I'm going to try to use uh, one prism. You can see there's 24 available here. So I could use a three key attack. Uh, you definitely can, can use that as an option. I'm just going to try with one to see what it's like, given that it has relatively low health. And so uh, we've got 30,000 30, uh, health here. And let's see how much damage um, Ozo Motley would actually deal here. Uh, so the first thing we want to do is make sure that we can power up um, all of the all of the heroes there, and you can see we've already taken out the um, we've already taken out the armor there, so that's good. So let's go ahead and do a couple of hits here just to see what it's like. Okay, uh, so we're at sixty six million, and let's see what the damage is like now. When they also gives a heal, and it looks like it's a uh, fifteen. Uh, thousand damage so okay uh, let's go ahead and do another hit and that's all right there so i think it, this looks like it should be uh, pretty easy uh with this attack there so yeah we're getting close already uh with this and i still have a couple of hits i can i can handle and also i think with this we're going to finish off the attack we're going to finish off the boss with this i think or if not um gonna get another hit and i'll simply use when they skill uh, to finish the boss off so that that's pretty much a uh you know with that particular setup with uh Kena, that's the benefit you can break the armor right away and then you could basically start dealing damage as opposed to having to wait a few turns and so um hopefully that team is a um you know if you're just starting out if you're relatively new hopefully you can get an option uh, that would be an option for you as well as, as far as that team goes now let's take a look and see what um what we get so it looks like a couple of tier shards, B soul and platinum ore, as well as a four star warden. Now there are other things as well. Again, I'm looking for that. Um, 
I'm looking for the soul and it looks like I got uh, three fire essence threes. Uh, I thought I was going to get a four star. There it is. Oh, four star warden. And I got Christine. All right. And so let's go back and do another summon because uh, I'm still looking for the soul uh, for either Leah or uh, Sarah. Um, so let's go ahead and summon him again. And this time we're going to go in with a different team. So let's go ahead and summon and then uh, do a battle. And let's see here. I'm going to use uh, this team here um, where I'm using three of the support cards from this uh, last fire event and two of the uh, collection hero cards. All right, so one is a, uh, you know, uh, Nusku, that's a dragon card, and then Jarvis, which, uh, J Javis, which is a uh, corrupt hero. And so I've also updated my relics accordingly. And now with this particular setup, um, given that I don't have Keta to break the armor, I'm going to go in with three three prisms here and let's see uh, what that's going to be like. So I don't have any heal here, so I do want to make sure that I can survive long enough. And so that's why um, for this particular case, I'm using three keys uh, to um, to make sure that I, I sustain the health. And so with this, uh, it's 35 armor, so I do need to make sure that I hit seven times before I can break the armor. So I have to uh, continuously hit here. And the nice thing is with three support cards, I'm always getting... Um, I'm always going to be able to hit. I'm always going to be able to damage there. Uh, every time I attack, I generate more gems so that I'm not worried about um, you know missing and uh, missing a turn there. And so also I have um, you know my my relics that can help me out by creating power gems. And so I think that you know if I can save them as much as I can over the next few turns, uh, then I can just you know, do a power gem swap with them and be able to deal enough damage to take out the boss, hopefully in one turn, okay? Uh, and also what I'm going to do here, uh, I'm just going to go ahead and activate everything. And let's go ahead and do that. Now, J Javis is a gem spawner. And Nusku will actually, uh, so N Javis will spawn gems as well as destroy gems and new school will actually increase the drop rate of our fire gems so now let's go ahead and do a fire gem uh power gem swap and let's see if we can deal 75 uh, million damage with that and yes so with three support cards uh those are the main damage dealers with three key but uh, hit that was a pretty easy uh, fight as well so now let's see what we get in this particular reward uh, so we got a crown shard and four tier shards and a lightning hammer shard. So unfortunately, no legend uh, crystal shards or souls yet. Uh, and then another three fires as three. Okay. So we'll didn't get lucky this time with the collection there, but uh, the idea is, you know, you're going to get more of these summoning coins so we can do this every week. Now let's go in and take a look at this particular boss. Now this is the, the I've attacked it three times. I actually used um, a different team. Like I wanted to try using uh, Domi. I want to use the Domi team. And so what I had done was, um, was it this team here? Right. So I actually brought this team. I used uh, Flama as my, uh, my leader. And also I used... Um, Gladia, two copies of Gladia because I wanted to use the nuke damage. But with this particular setup, I didn't bring in Domi. Instead, I brought in uh, Apep so that I can control the number of fire gems on the board and I didn't need to bring a clock stopper. That worked okay, but the problem was I didn't get enough damage there. So I only dealt about 130 damage, a billion damage or so on my first attack. And so then I switched over to using my full team here, uh, which is this oh, where did it go let me make sure i bring the right team this team right here so this team instead that uses an ultra rare uh, two copies of the master collection one copy of raw and uh for my time for my clock stopper i'm bringing yes to the purifier so if you're running a team that is similar um hopefully this is something that you can try out um it took a little bit of practice, but my second hit, second time around, I was able to deal about uh, 450 billion damage or so. And so let's go ahead and uh, finish out the boss now with this team, and I'll show you sort of the mechanics behind this um, 
this deck. Now, there is going to be a little bit, you're, it's going to be a hard um, first few turns, I guess, until you get the armor out because there's no passive uh, gem spawner. And so the way that I played this typically, just like we played in the event itself, is I would focus on doing small matches and try to save my gems as much as possible. And keep in mind, this is not the same as a uh, commander uh, event. So you don't get uh, you don't get to the creation of the fire gems through that. So what I'm doing is, um, you know, I would actually use the power uh, battle skills of my Ra and my um, Thoth just because uh, this allows me to create uh, gems. I'm using these power gems as fire gems so that I could uh, continue to do uh, damage without losing a turn. The goal here is I want to get the armor out as quickly as possible and to do that, I need to be able to match gems all the time. Now, the Aegis for this boss is a um, it's basically an invulnerability every seven turns. And you can sort of see an armor pop up. During that time, you can't deal any damage regardless of what you do. And so um, that's, that's something to consider so that if you're about to you know, unleash a big attack, make sure that uh, you don't do it on that turn. Now, with five armor remaining, I'm going to go ahead and uh, use... Um, Cobra skill here to create multiple power gems, and then I'm going to then um, activate all of the skills here, including Yesas, so that I could do a um, power gem, uh, sort of a off affinity swap to stop the, the the clock there. And then at this point, it's actually pretty uh, pretty cool because I can now do a I can now have a train going here where every three turns I can basically uh, get the get the uh, sort of Cobra going and then activate uh, Raw and the Master Card there. And I'm not worried about health right now. And I actually have a uh, Heart Gem that's left behind that didn't get converted. So I can use that continuously to stop the clock as well. And so let's just continue to go on here. And then when the, when, I, uh, when I'm running low on health, that is when I will go ahead and do a uh, Power Gem swap with the Heart Gem. All right. And so right now, keep pay attention to the heart gem there. Um, if we're lucky, it's going to remain there and doesn't get converted. And so that's right. So, you know, basically then I just keep going there so I can do some really quick swaps. And uh, I could actually handle another turn right now without worrying about uh, my health. So that's what I'm going to do uh, right here. So let's go ahead and do that and activate the skills here. And let's see, so, okay. So next turn, what I'm going to prepare for is I'm actually going to then activate uh, everything, but I'm going to swap the heart gem with my um, fire gem instead, because then I could um, fully heal up. So you can see what's gonna happen here. I'm gonna get hit, I'll have enough health remaining, and uh, we're going to fully heal up here. So let's go ahead and activate. And if the heart gem gets uh, taken out, then you know I can simply activate Yesa again. So in this case, I could have also activated Yesa to do the clock, uh, you know, uh, to stop the clock. So that would have been more efficient there. Okay, and I believe just one, uh, maybe one more turn, and we should be good to go here. But just in case, we're going to go ahead and activate Yesa anyways. All right, and so pay attention to where. Uh, where the heart gem is, and then do the match there. Now, when you do, uh, you know, when you activate Yesa, you're going to have uh, less total uh, damage just because you have less gems on the board, but um, it gives you full health. So, um, I okay, let's go ahead and uh, I missed the opportunity there, so I'm gonna have to start this again. And also, you notice that there's the armor there, so uh, good thing I, I, I was, you know, good thing I didn't actually get that turn going there, because I think I would have um, ended up not dealing any damage. All right, so let's go ahead and finish off the boss uh, with only 240 million remaining. This should be, uh, should be easy. So with that, uh, the boss is, you know, uh, I was able to take down the boss pretty easily. If I didn't do my first uh, first attack, I would have been able to take taken him down in three turns. And so imagine that it's, you know, half the damage for uh, neutral, then I should be able to use this team to take on other uh, bosses as well. And so that's the, the boss in four turns. Let's see what items we got. Oh, I, <laughs> well, I, there goes that. Uh, but in terms of the, the shards there, got pretty good stuff. I got 
basically one of each color at least uh fire light water and dark except for the earth one so that's pretty good so now let's see here if we go to the forge see what else we're missing there uh are we close it doesn't look like we're we're actually close to uh you know getting anything done so this is going to take a while for us uh because we're only doing one one boss at a time uh, i know that somebody's actually already uh, completed one of the cudgels so you can take a look uh, we'll, we'll, we'll take a look there uh, for a guild versus guild in one of the upcoming episodes. So that's all for today's episode. Thanks for watching. Hopefully this has been uh, useful for you. Again, the silver bosses, they're quite simple. So I definitely encourage you to go in. It's a good opportunity to get some essences, uh, get some items. You saw I got a couple of tears and essence. Those are uh, really useful items for your day-to-day -day as well. Uh, so, um, you know, ho hopefully this works out for you. So that's all for this episode. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.